Hi. I feel super awkward. I haven't done a vlog in forever. I've never really done a YouTube video in a very long time. But I'm out doing a solo hike. It's now my second solo hike ever and I feel still a little bit weird about it. Um, the reason why I'm doing it is because like I talked about it before. I wanted to do like solo overnight hikes and that. And the only way for me to really do that is kind of getting used to, to being alone. And uh, yeah, just being alone. It's really weird because like I'm used to my wife and my kid around. They're not gonna not be here all the time, but for a majority of the time right now, especially like my kid, he's like two and a half now. So it's like, oh shit, I feel weird. One second. Hi. Hey, <laughs> like I said, I haven't done this in forever, so I, I feel like everything's reset back to zero. So seeing people now is like, Gotta shut up, gotta shut up. Plus it just feels weird holding a camera in front of you, no matter what. But uh, yeah, my kid is two and a half years old. He doesn't wanna like stay on track. He doesn't wanna do like long walks or anything like that. So my wife is awesome enough and says that, you know, if I ever wanna go and do solo hikes and that, that I'm more than welcome to. So I'm, uh, like I said, just doing this, taking this as an opportunity to be comfortable by myself. It's really weird because like when I have a family to walk with, it's it's always there's like a lot of talking. You don't really get to, to focus on the sounds of nature. But like my last so like I I brought my camera. I haven't recharged my batteries in like three months. Both my batteries are dead, so I didn't get a chance to record it. But yeah, it's so weird. It's it's not an uncomfortable feeling, but it's just a feeling you have to to get yourself adjusted to, make sure I don't freaking fall here. But, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been slacking on the YouTubes and I, and I realize that, and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit here, but, uh, I'm not, I'm not walking anywhere new or anything like that. In fact, I'm walking the, uh, the cable line trail, which I've done a couple months ago, just, you know, more of a path that I'm used to and not something that I have to traverse and, and learn on my own. So eventually I'm going to do them, but, uh. Like I said, this is my second time ever doing like a solo hike, so still not used to it. <laughs> I know I keep reiterating that, but uh, one second, there's more people. I'll get back to being used to this, I promise. Especially like if I'm gonna do this a little bit more often. But like I, like I said, I wanna, I wanna talk about YouTube and the future of this channel because who knows, it's been almost now a month since I last uploaded couple months since I last did something solo that's including gameplay and all that so but I want to talk to you guys about that because like I've been having a lot on my mind recently about it and uh, I kind of want to just find somewhere chill sit down for a little bit and uh, give a little little talk about that but yeah like I said I'm at the the cable line trail here gorgeous after well it's it's nice like temperature wise it's nice but it's it's overcast thankfully not raining but yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep on going and check in with you guys in a little bit here. I'm heading back to the location where there are sea lions last time, but I don't hear any at all, so I don't I doubt I'm going to see anything. Plus the tide is out; it's really hard to see from here. But uh, a little bit you can see right there, and the tide is out, so don't know what that means. Hopefully. Like I said, we'll see some sea lions, but zero sound of them, so. Look at this. Some kids out there. With the parent, of course, that'd be crazy because they look really young. Wait, oh. Yeah, that tide is definitely out. Jesus. I have no idea what the hell these porous things are, but they got a big old loud crunch when you're walking on them. I thought it was salt at first, but I don't think it is. They got a bunch of gross ass seaweed.
I don't even know if I'm at, at a good angle at this. I feel like <laughs> it's probably going to be a little bit weird. But, um, yeah, I apologize about the lack of content on my channel. I've been going, like, I've been going through, like, a really weird phase in my life where I've been focusing a lot more on Twitch, right? Like, I put in, like, 40-plus hours a week, and then, like, on top of that, sometimes I recorded what I was doing on Twitch and then edit that, so on top of, like, the 40 hours, I then, like, edited videos, then I had to, like, upload them, and then things like vlogs, right? And I know a lot of people miss vlogs, I know a lot of people on my Twitch channel miss vlogs and everything, but it just got to a point where I've been now doing this for, for seven years, right? And for a majority of that, every moment of my life, I felt like I had to produce content. So I kind of just, it kind of just like got to me where I just like, I needed a break from, from pretty much everything. I, there's like even a moment like where I took a couple days off Twitch and just took away everything. Like I just got offline. I just avoided everything and just kind of got, got to like just be by myself. And I feel like that's what I've done on YouTube right now is like, I've, I kind of cut it out a little bit, obviously not a little bit, but like a lot because I just felt burnt out, man. Like, whenever I came out for these hikes, like, I felt like I was never doing the hikes for myself. I felt like I had to produce content for it. I was like, like, even, even things like, you know, YouTube, where if you don't put, if you don't make a video for 10 minutes, you barely get any ads on it. So I was always out like, okay, I, fuck, I've like maybe recorded eight minutes. I got to go out and do a little bit more and try and get that extra two minutes. So I think a lot is going to change on my channel. I'm going to try and get back to doing vlogs, but I'm not going to do them. I'm going to do them more as a hobby now because like YouTube is no longer like my primary source of income. Twitch is. So I got to put way more focus on that. Again, if you guys want to check me out, twitch.tv slash pause and pause. There's a, I guess in the description down below, got a selfish, shamelessly self plug my channel while I'm, I'm sitting here. But. I don't know man I just been I don't know if it's because like I turned 30 or what but like <laughs> I feel like I'm going through like some sort of like weird existential crisis like I've been really trying to use social media less I haven't posted much on my Instagram I barely tweet anymore I tweet every once in a while but I got rid of Facebook I unfollowed a shit ton of people on Twitter and I think like a lot of that is because like it got to a point like where before I went to bed I'd check out Instagram, I'd check out Twitter. When I wake up, the first thing I do is check out fucking Reddit, check out Twitter, check out Instagram, all this. And places like Twitter and that are just such a volatile, toxic place I felt where it's very divisive on Twitter it feels like. And you got people just like going at one another for their political views and all that so I just... I started unfollowing a lot of people who were tweeting like that just because, like, it just eats away at me, man. It really, really does. I don't know if you can see that. A plane. That's what we're going to hear for, for a couple seconds here. But, I don't know, man. I've been trying to, like, as soon as now, like, whenever I'm off Twitch, I try and not go online. I just try and read a book, listen to an audio book. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and like tell you that I'm never on it. Like there's definitely days where I'm just like so tired. I just wanna like veg out, watch Netflix or someone on the stream and that, but. Hey, going back to the YouTube thing, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm no longer, like the thing is, right? Like I wanna, I felt like I wanna do some like solo recordings and even like right now, I guess I can consider this more of like a social like a social thing a solo kind of thing but I don't know I don't know if it's I I feel very self-conscious now whenever I do like solo recordings on YouTube for for video games and that and I just don't think I'm gonna be focusing too much on video games anymore I think what I'm gonna do is don't <laughs> don't take what I'm saying like as like you know we're gra engraving it in stone or whatnot but I'm gonna try and and do like a vlog once a week and I'm no longer gonna try and worry about making sure I got fucking 10 minutes if it's like a three minute vlog so fucking be it you know it's just like I said I I gotta focus on what makes me happy and and all that and 
Twitch is, like I said, it's just like my, my main source of income now. And I, it's hard for me to like put aside those valuable hours to be like, okay, I'm going to go record a video that can potentially get demonetized or and I'm not saying this to try and get like pity views or anything like that, but and it's all like a hundred percent on my, on my shoulders. But like, you know, I don't get views on it anymore on, on YouTube because like, like I said, I just don't, I haven't focused on, on YouTube too much recently. So again, that's all on me. I'm not trying to get pity views. I'm not trying to get people to be like, feel sorry for me. I a hundred percent understand the situation I'm in, but a lot of that has to do with me being very, very aggressive in terms of like trying to do what YouTube wants. And I'm no longer going to do that. I just want to, if I fucking sit there and record a vlog of me pouring milk into a cereal bowl and just eating that, obviously there's going to be cereal. If I could just scooping up milk would be weird. And it's like a two minute video, so be it. I'm... I've always kind of wanted to do just like less organized vlogs because I don't know it also feels weird because like whenever I watch like other vloggers I'm not going to name names because I just don't give a fuck but like if, like they always go out of their ways to try and like produce something crazy and you know like go on these crazy excursions or crazy events and all that and I just don't care about that stuff man I care about coming out here, doing walks every once in a while, hanging out with my family. Like, I think a lot of my priorities have just changed because of my kid, like, honestly, but... And I don't even know if what I was saying makes any sense. I always, like... <laughs> it's always weird, because, like, I always, like, think... Like, I'm on my way here, I'm like, okay, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? And I feel like, in my head, everything that I want to say out loud makes sense in my head. But like when it comes to like sitting here and having the camera, all my thoughts are jumbled up and I feel like what I'm saying is not really cohesive or or that, but yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to try and do vlogs every once in a while. I'm going to try and be a little bit more active on YouTube, but I don't know, man. I've been in a really, really weird funk and I, I don't know if it's because like it's an existential crisis or whatnot, but... I'm trying to find myself, man. I really, really am. And, like, that's why, you know, my wife today forced me to come out here. Because, like, I told her, I was like, I really want to go. I really want to go on a hike again. But, like, whenever it comes to the point, I always, like, find an excuse to not do it. And I think a lot of that has to do with just me being a little bit worried about doing this solo. But, yeah, she kicked me out. <laughs> not, not in a bad way. She's like, all right. You gotta go for a hike, otherwise you're gonna regret it. And I love my wife for that. And I'm happy I have her in my life. But it's just, it just feels so weird being out here by myself, man. It's nice though, it's really relaxing. But like I said, I'm trying to find myself and I don't know if what I'm doing is, do, is working, but I've been feeling a lot happier. I mean, I've been feeling this weird motivation to do YouTube again, not like full-time or anything. It's never gonna be like full-time again, but I'm just sorry. I'm just like so focused in on this. Like, here we go. That digital zoom. Just focused in on this one seagull right there. There he is. Just chilling. Just chilling. I hope those that family over there doesn't think I'm like. I've been all, I've been talking for fucking nine minutes now. This is all going up unedited. I just don't care. <laughs> it's just you got the the ramblings of a. I don't even know what type of person I am right now, but it's just, I don't know, just everything, everything just feels weird, but in a good way. Like, I feel weird, does that make any sense? I feel weird in a good way. I don't know. Sometimes being lost is scary, but sometimes being lost is just, it feels, it feels strangely good. Cause like I'm figuring out things I like to do that's not connected to online or social media or anything like that. Like I fucking, I'm starting to read this really crazy book, right? It's called House of Leaves. And it's, it's a difficult read because like it's, fiction 
story. And there's like footnotes. And like apparently I've been reading it wrong because I was like I, I ended up googling last night because I was getting so fucking confused because there's like there's footnotes and then there's like appendixes and it's like people will say like the best way to read it is like once you get to like a little cliff note go down figure out if there's like something that you need to read and then go like pages back and it doesn't make any sense but apparently it's supposed to be like that but it's called House of Leaves it's like I'm really enjoying it because like it feels like a found footage film <laughs> which is like my favorite genre of like horror movies but like it's a person who's watching a found footage film and like describing it I don't know I'm only a couple chapters in but it feels like it's a it's a good read I'm, I've been really enjoying it I never really used to read but I'm I'm doing that now and like I said I've been in a really weird but good weird spot if that makes any fucking sense Yeah, I think I'm just going to sit here for like a couple more minutes and then I don't know if you guys remember that path over there. I went a little bit ways down there and I never realized how fast I walk when I don't have like a little baby to, to wait up for because I got here really fast. But sorry if nothing or if anything I said makes zero sense. But I feel like I got out what I wanted, whether it be coherently or all over the place. I'm gonna come back, just not with like the mindset of business anymore. And I feel like maybe that's that's a good thing. Cause like I started out YouTube way back then without knowing that it can become a business, knowing that I can do this for a full-time job. I like, like I said, I know I'm not doing YouTube full-time, but like I've been on Twitch and I have like a very, very supportive community there, so. And of course, you know, there's there's definitely you guys who still watch me and you guys got my back and I really appreciate all the years of support I've had that's gotten me here. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll do more of these where I just, like, sit down and just ramble on for fucking who knows how long. Yeah. We'll continue our walk in a little bit. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the silence. I'm gonna see if I could just cross this. There's no water here. I wanna see. It's so friggin' bumpy here. And I think there's where all these like cable lines were replaced. I'm gonna see if it's like too sludgy or how slippery this stuff is. Because it doesn't feel that slippery. Let's see. If I can make it down, we'll be golden. Yeah, that stuff isn't slippery. Some of the rocks though are very slippery and I didn't wanna I cross it, but yeah, let's just. Last time I was here, this is, this is like all filled in, so. Hopefully, I'm not killing any any living things or under all the seaweed. Yeah, ew. Definitely a seaweedy type of smell right now, so. But yeah, there's that bridge that I typically be crossing, but like I said, no water, so let's check it out. Aside from it being very squishy sand, and not very deep, so that's good. We're crossing. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in here. So, got a little, little super saturated there, and now my, my feet are a little wet. Rip. See that little long well, I was gonna say tree, but log that I over there. That's where I sit. We're now on the the opposite side over here. It's very crunchy, very stinky, but just like a sea life, not bad stinky. It just smells, you know, like seaweed in that. What the. This shell. Yeah, I just want to go like the tip over here. This is where I want to go. Ugh. This stinks.
It's squishy. Ugh. This is cool. There's all the the logging logs and all that. Yeah, it's just freaking beautiful. I just thought this looked cool, so I wanted to share it. There's so many of these tall, thin trees, man. Weirds me out. But yeah, I've been, uh, got up on, on the main trail here now. Kind of walking alongside the ocean. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, don't really know what else there is. It looks like there's some sort of, like, part of the island that juts out there, but... I don't know how much longer I can go, guys, because I'm not going to lie, I kind of have to use the restroom. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Is that TMI? No, I don't think so. We're all humans. We're all gross. But, yeah, I, I don't know what else is there. It's, it's fun, though. It's neat. I'm enjoying the, the path. Oh, here we go. Entering... Joanne or Yoan Point Park. Huh. Holy crap, that's very far down. Let's hope I don't slip. Literally like five seconds after I turn off my camera, we get to this cool little area we gotta walk through. The rocks. I love it out here, man. God, it's so pretty. Just all like these trees. Oh. This is cool. Guys, I don't know if you can see that ripple moving along right there. <gasps> there he is! So we're at Dodds and Arrows, and I was reading that this is like where two channels meet up and is creating this crazy little current here. Where'd that little bugger go? Oh, there he is! He keeps going under, and it said that... <laughs> Be sure to come check it out because like... Some wildlife likes to play in the, the channel, and I just saw that little, look like a sea lion. But yeah, I came, I got here, I don't think like this path has traveled as much. But, yeah, it's very, well, it's very more, much more bushy. And then I got here, and there's like this little light thing here. I'm not going to climb that because I'm too afraid of heights, but, yeah, this is really cool. I'm going to go take a look a little bit more down there but I'm happy I came here because I saw that little sea lion for like a split second I see him there he is wait no that might be wood might yeah that's definitely wood but yeah I'm gonna try and keep my eyes out for for more sea lions so this is Dawes Narrows it's really peaceful here you see a couple sea lions playing haven't really seen too many or them being active enough to like sit here with my camera recording so I'm just gonna like chill here for the remainder of my time here and uh, I'm gonna head out in maybe like 15 minutes I'm just gonna chill here for but uh, again I have no idea if what I said made any sense but I'm happy I got it off my mind and uh, I hope to see you guys a little bit more on YouTube all right peace